All that effort, all the goodwill I had established, shattered by the blade of his inglorious axe. The Needs came to Murrith to escape war, not find themselves entrenched in another. However, they are a prideful people. The massacre in Sarthal gave Iskrimor the perfect excuse to eradicate the Mur from this land. He baited the Mur into an attack on farmers, hunters, and maids. All the while, he and his sons built an army of companions in the caverns to the north. We shared resources, knowledge, and to bridge this gap, I abandoned the old Medic tongue in order to ensure nothing would be lost in translation. Some considered it a heresy, yet I knew that for both our races to survive in this cold and unforgiving land, we needed to work as partners. For our people, the spoken word is a powerful weapon, one that can lead an army, yet by adopting another's word, I chose to lead by example. And it wasn't just for my own people. If I shed my pride and spoke the elven tongue, perhaps they too would be willing to embrace our customs. Ah, a most tragic tale indeed. It was after the Night of Tears, when Iskromor returned to Murrith with 500 warriors in tow. My people no longer wanted peace. They wanted blood, and even those who were steadfastly loyal to me crowned Iskramor their leader and king. I was frustrated, angry. Were they blind to the truth? Did they learn nothing from the wars in Admora? Vengeance begets vengeance, and war never ends, not without the murder of an entire people. The death of a thousand children who committed no crime. What I did, I did for my people, so that history would not stain their hands in blood. I sought the old allegiances, the power of the Dovra. Alone, unguarded, I stole away to the lair of the Frost Dragon Cordin House. Perched atop a spire of stone on a snow-capped hill. I gave myself into his service, for a boon, to imbue a myrrh with the powers of frost, to give their people a chance to survive. So they say, but the truth has a way of modeling even the whitest of lies. He was the Prince of Solstheim, and he was granted the power of ice and snow. There on that island to the east is what remained of the Snow Elf people, and where they would make their final stand. Imbued with a new strength, the prince rode into the Battle of the Mosring, where Iskramor's armies marched through a field of crimson snow. They say he rode in on a horse of pure white, his armor and spear a beacon of hope in the dark terror of war. Remained, for I am a true.
stronger. 